Hi, I am Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. <laughs> you can see with the lack of makeup and me looking like I don't know some sort of pizza face or something um today is a different video I have been nagged for months right to do a makeup tutorial video because people really love how I do my makeup now I do my makeup very basically but there are some fantastic tricks and I'm going to show you my entire skin routine as well. Um, so if you would like to see what this is all about, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> you know, it's so weird going through those motions, right? And I've got a mirror, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's like showing it all to me. Uh, so yeah, today is all about my makeup and my skin routine and how I get myself ready for my videos. This t-shirt and these armbands have been sent to me for free by Loot Crate in their Loot Wear. So thank you very much Loot Crate. I love this. I love these. They are wicked. Look at that. They are so cool. I tell you something, they're blooming warm. But they are absolutely wicked. I love them. And the t-shirt's gorgeous as well. Apparently I'm a seeker. Who knew? So, okay, so what I want to show you first is what I, uh, well, I got a confession to make. Okay. The reason why I haven't done a makeup tutorial, I've been nagged by my friend Manuel and a load of other people as well who have been nagging me. Uh, Manuel is incredible by the way, his makeup tutorials are so beautiful and he's such a stunningly gorgeous man. So you need to check out his um, his channel, I will put the link above for you. I'm going to take these off because these are boiling. I'm not technically in the gym or anything so it's not a problem. They are wicked though, look at them. I absolutely love it, aren't they wicked? They're so comfy, but they're blooming warm. So, the reason why I haven't done a makeup tutorial for ages is because I have, I, as you can see, I've got red blots all over my skin. Now these are actually scars now, but if you watch previous videos, you'll see I'm wearing a lot of makeup, especially in the one where I go to Dobby's grave, um, because the sunlight, it really shows my skin. Since I was 13, I've had incredibly bad skin. Now people will say, yeah, yeah, but so have I. We've, I've had such bad skin that at one point I couldn't lay down because my back was so bad. I had acne in my head, my face, my neck, my chest, my back, and in between my legs and behind my knees. My skin was really bad. And we're not just talking normal whiteheads, we're talking boils, everything. Um, my brother was so bad that he got sent to Clearasil. If people have heard of Clearasil, the skin, uh, the skin company, he got sent to Clearasil to run tests on his skin because he was like one of a kind. I wasn't as bad as him, but I suffered really bad. And uh, when I was 26, I finally managed to uh, to see a dermatologist and he put me on something called Roaccutane, which is like a really strong medication that if you're pregnant would deform a child, blah, blah, blah awful stuff however it is the only thing that ever worked for me back then and it cleared my skin it took nine months but it cleared my skin and i've been scarred ever since but i'm being honest with you now you can see my skin i've still got loads of spots but this is nothing compared to what it used to be like so i'm really pleased so uh i'm 40 years old uh, almost 41 and my skin has been getting worse uh, since my hormones have been changing. Um, so I went through a stage of having really lovely clear skin and then I went through a stage where my hormones started changing and my, as you know, I say that I'm, I am lady problems. Uh, my hormones are all over the place. And so I've been getting like boils and stuff on my face. I've been getting huge whiteheads on my face. I've been getting them around my lips, everywhere. My hair, my body, my chest, everywhere. Again. Um, so anyway, I started using a company a few years back called Proactive. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Proactive, but Proactive are brilliant, right? Um, they're an American company and their skin, uh, I, it's blum and expensive stuff. It's like £90 for a set, okay? But I thought, do you know what? I've tried everything. And I mean, I've tried everything, you know, uh, simple wipes, you name the product i've i've done it name the medication i've probably been on it um the only other stuff that worked for me was something called panoxyl wash which uh 
I stopped using because it ble was bleaching everything. It contains bleach, can't remember the word for it. Um, but I managed to get hold of some proactive and I gave it a try. And within two weeks, my skin started to clear up. Then last year, they announced they were leaving the UK and they were going to America. And if you were in the UK, you could not buy their products. I was absolutely devastated because I only had a bit left. Couldn't get hold of their stuff anyway. You can get things on Amazon and Boots, but it's not the full kit. You can only get certain stuff. And I needed the full kit. I need the four stage stuff, you know, because just one item or two items doesn't work. So I managed to get hold of um, a few months ago. I found, I finally found somebody on eBay who was selling the packs, um, and they're the new packs from America. Uh, Thirty pound for a pack, and my God, I started using it. It's taken a while, but as you can see, I don't know. I, this looks bad, okay? But trust me when I say it's really not. This is nothing compared to what it was. So what I've done is a, is a few. There's five things I'm doing at the moment to help my skin. I'm going to show you because I'm I haven't done all of it specifically for this video. So this video is going to be a long one. So grab a cup of coffee. So first of all, I use the Proactive uh, Stage 1, which is the face wash. It's got like a, a mint in it, like a tea tree, so it makes your skin feel like it's it's fresh. It's really nice. And then you go on to Stage 2. Now in the packs, you get two lots of these. So this is Stage 2. And all it is is you use a little tiny amount like that. I'm going through all of this today for you, so be grateful. I'm being honest with you about my skin, which is horrible because I don't like people knowing about my skin. But you put it all over your skin, right? Make sure your hands are clean, obviously. They have to be clean, otherwise you're basically putting dirt back into your hands. Now, even though my face looks red, my face goes red all the time, so don't panic. I'm not, I'm not allergic to this stuff. This stuff's amazing. So, let that sink in. I will put the links, if I can find the links, I'll put the links down below for you. So if you guys have any problems, you know that you can use these as well. Um, and then you use stage three, which is a hydration gel. I squirt two lots on. This, this does last a long time, right? This stuff does last ages. I've been using this now for over a month and I haven't even gone halfway through that face wash yet. So rub it in. Smells so nice. It really does smell lovely. It's so weird doing a video, right? Where I'm not ready. <laughs> I haven't sat in front of that mirror doing my hair and makeup for like two hours. It takes almost two hours to get ready mine for my videos, you know, I do properly go into it, like, obviously I've just put my hair up in a bobble at the moment. So leave that stage three sink in, so obviously your face is all kind of fresh and smells really nice. And then the, the pack comes with a green tea moisturiser. So again, only a little bit of that you need, and I mean a little pea size because this stuff is really watery, so it's a tiny amount there, and I put that on. Okay, so I did tell you that there were five stages, so that's the fourth one. So straight away, I don't know if you can see it, I think the camera's making it look redder than it is, but I'm already starting to see that my skin's not as red as it was just now. It's really cooled down. So I'm leaving my skin kind of de deal with it once, do what it wants to do. I get big spots all in here, and I mean huge, all in here, all underneath here, under my arms, on my chest, as you saw. When I was going on the sunbed, and this is why I had such a tan, when I was going on the sunbed, it really did dry my pores out and it really made a massive difference. And that was the only thing I could do until I could get hold of some, uh, some proactive. Um, honestly, don't go kind of suggesting loads of stuff in the box because I found my um, my stuff now and that's what I'm sticking to is proactive. So thank you very much for everyone who's been through this, whose stuff I've worked for. I've probably tried it, but I'm now after 40 years found what I really need to use and that's what I'm sticking to. Right, okay, so this is something that I got on Instagram, right? It is, uh, it sends very fine electric shocks through your skin because one of the reasons why I have such bad skin is, uh, and filling with loads of blackheads and so on is my pores are big. I'm getting older, of course they are, but unfortunately because of the problem with my skin, my big pores are making more problems. So especially around here, I got like really, and I mean huge whitehead spots. 
um, I actually got rid of one yesterday that was there. I get a lot of like, um, sounds really gross and I'm really sorry, but a lot of like spots with gristle in, so it's solid. Um, but that finally went, because I've got like a spot thingy thing upstairs and it finally went after weeks and weeks. I had one down here about four or five months ago that was there for about four or five months. And again, that finally, I finally managed to get it. Um, I wish I had like Dr. Pimple Popper nearby, you know, because she's just so brilliant. Uh, right, okay, so this thing, you're going to look at it and think, what the hell is that? Okay, um, it is actually, I bought it for 20 quid, but I don't know where it came from. I'm really sorry, I've tried to find it and I cannot find it anywhere. So I can't put the link down below for you. I bought it for 20 quid and it comes with this thing, with a battery included, and a cream that is actually made from like a snail essence. Now it sounds gross, you had two choices, but this is the one I chose. So what you do... And thanks to this thing, my skin's been far better. I put a little bit of cream. Oh God, I'm gonna drop the lid. It's very silky, this stuff. Little bit of cream, I put the lid back on. So that's, that's it there, okay. Put a little bit of cream on, it does, because it's so thin, it goes a long way. It goes a long, long, long way. Um, so yeah. Uh, So since using this thing, I've noticed a huge difference in the amount of spots I don't have anymore and blackheads, for example. We will get to my makeup soon. So all you do is you, oh, got a bit of stuff there that I've forgotten to rub in. All you do is you take the, the larger part and you just put it onto your skin and it will vibrate. If you go over like raised areas and spots, you do get a little bit of a prickle, but it's okay. And you have to kind of massage your skin outwards. But I have a massive problem with dermatitis as well. I get really bad dermatitis. So I actually have steroid cream upstairs ready for when it comes, which I've had from the doctor. Because I have, I get it all around here, all around here, all around here, and all around here. And it lasts for months. <clears throat> I've never had any luck with my skin. The only thing I am grateful for is because my skin is so oily, I'm aging slowly. So I have hardly any wrinkles. Um, I'm very lucky. So I've done this side of my face there and then you go up to the top. You go from the middle and you go outwards. Yeah, I can't complain. I don't look my age and I'm thrilled about that. So then you go onto the other side. I'll only do it once just to show you. But normally I take, I do this a couple of times. You shouldn't keep going over the same area, but um, I do. I've been doing this. This is, I think this is like day seven now and apparently after seven days you see a result and I saw a result after two days. It was crazy. Um, I do do, you don't need to do under here but I do under here anyway just in case. Because you never know. And I get spots in my neck. I get lots of um, gristly spots and whiteheads and blackheads and stuff so. So the only place that's really prickles is around my chin, because I've obviously got some raised areas there still, but my skin, honestly, is nothing like it was. It's absolutely incredible how much my skin's changed in two weeks. Right, so I'll leave it at that. Okay, so now I have done uh, my skin routine. So that is me done. Um, what I do, if I don't do my skin routine before I uh, get on with my makeup, I always wipe my face with a baby wipe because it seems to make the makeup, it gives like, um, a, a, like a nice start, a, like a tone start or, you know, whatever you call it. Uh, and it helps me to kind of put my foundation on. Now, before I... Uh, before yesterday, because I obviously did a video yesterday because I was running late, uh, due to Harry, who is fine, um, I would put, you should see how much foundation I put on. I'd go through like five wipes just to get my foundation off uh, because my skin was so bad. But now, I don't need to wear that much, it's great. So this is my makeup bag. It's a Harry Potter and still got its tag on from Primark. It's a mess inside, you're not seeing inside, I tell ya. This is just one of my makeup bags. I have got so much makeup. I've got a case upstairs, a big one that opens that, and it's just full. It's mental. 
So the first thing I do, and I've got, I, I'm sure Emmanuel and loads of other people are going to tell me off for how I do my makeup, but I am 40 years old and I've done it the same way ever since I was, ever since I was a teenager. So I'm not changing for anyone. So I use liquid foundation from, from uh, Foria. Now I have tried so many different foundations and this one, especially for somebody with problem skin like me, seriously, it is the best foundation because it is brilliant and um, it's waterproof as well so it doesn't just run off. So if you get it all over your fingers, oh my god, you have to wash your hands. I use baby wipes to get off. So I just, I use my fingers for everything. I hardly use a brush. So I do put, especially when I'm filming, I do put a lot. And again, make sure your hands are clean before you do this. I do put a lot of foundation on when I'm doing films. Because I've I've been working in TV for years. And uh, the amount of makeup you have to wear is shocking. Because the screen just doesn't show it otherwise. So <laughs> if I was to go out on a night out with people, right? The amount of makeup I'd probably put on and think, oh, right, yeah, I'm not filming now. It would be so bad. I was so bad. So yeah, so I've got um I've got problem skin around my nose, so I do tend to kind of rub the foundation into my nose. So yeah. <sighs> this is so weird doing this tutorial. Look at my face, look at it. <sighs> so yeah, I use my my hands, my fingers for everything, even when right my nails were really long. I would um I would still use my neck my fingers to do my like my eyeshadow my foundation I'm trying to grow my nails back out again but I, I've got a feeling I won't be able to now this is going to look weird to me because I'm used to doing this upstairs and the lighting's different upstairs so I'm going to try and do it the same um, but I can't guarantee it. I will show you how I do my hair curly as well. I'm going to show you the whole lot. So as I said, this video is going to be long, so you better get a cup of tea or something. You know, people aren't going to watch this video very much. I can guarantee that because they're not going to be interested in it. But it's cool. I think so. And I've been nagged so much by Emmanuel. <laughs> uh -huh, that I thought, you know what? I might as well give him. Right, so I've got it all over my fingers because it is very thick but it doesn't feel thick um when i was a kid i used to have to put on there's so many people that are going to be the same like and I, I had to put on so much makeup um to try and hide the fact that my skin was so bad that it felt you could feel it and when you smiled you could feel it crack fiora uh sorry foria doesn't feel like that at all does not feel like that it just feels um it feels like I haven't got any foundation on. It's amazing. This stuff is fantastic. So I, the powder I use, um, at the moment I've got a couple of different ones I use. So when my skin's playing up, like obviously it does all the time, um, I use Benefit uh, Flawless Powder. This one is Velvet, no, this is number three. So this one here is number three, and this is the one I use. Now I like the um, these ones because the thickness of the pigmentation of the powder is really, really good. Now I buy um, these like old fashioned pads from Boots, um, and they're just like, you know, just like normal pads, but they don't shed and they put stuff on really, really gently. So I, because this is so thick, you just have to tap it, it's all you have to do. And I literally, put it all over my skin like this and I suddenly look like a ghost <laughs> do you know what when I was playing Elsa my skin was so so white because obviously I was an ice queen you know so I actually do have powder that's like really pale upstairs in my box oh. I do miss the tan but now I've found, now I've got, I've, I've re managed to get hold of Proactive, I don't need it as much now. So there you have my powder base. So I'm not very good at contouring, so I'm really sorry about that, I will try my best. Oh my god, look at me, I look like a ghost. <laughs> 
my brushes and everything are so old that my powder brush looks like that. <laughs> I've been using this one for years um, and I probably could get a replacement. I just can't be bothered. So what I'm doing now, oh my god, I'm spitting everywhere. What I'm doing now is this is literally just a bronzer, okay? So it's a Remmel, uh, bronzer from Remmel, natural bronzer. Um, and I literally put it in here, like that. So it gives me a bit of tone. Look at that, a little bit of tone. Look at the difference. Look at, look at that. Tone, not, tone, not. Again, if I was to step outside looking like this, right? <laughs> people would be like, oh my God, what's wrong with her? Because I look so pale and weird with just a stripe down my face. So just to kind of give you a little bit of definition, I put it on the bits that stick out, like it's been sun kissed, you know, and a little bit on my chip, on my um, neck. I hate when my face looks a different color to my neck. That is a huge no-no. They have to be the same colour. I can't cope with it otherwise. So that is my bronzer. Um, which you probably aren't noticing much difference right now. And then another benefit item. Do you know I bought this? It's got to have been seven years ago. Six years ago. Seven years ago? Seven. Seven, eight years ago. How long have I been married? Seven years. I bought this about eight years ago, right? And I'm still using it. You only need a little bit. Now this is again, it's a, uh, is it like a contour this is. And what I do is I put a little bit on the brush that it comes with. And I put it there, and I put it there. Especially for people who haven't got down to their goal weight yet, you know. That's that's where it needs to be, right? Okay, because it, it just makes me look like I have a face. So if you really want to do all like the shiny stuff, um, I did buy this really cheap kind of uh, like a shiny powder. So I do sometimes put it on my cheeks here just to make them stand out more, but I'm not doing that today. Right, so now I've done the basic stuff. I'm gonna show you, because what is it somebody said eyebrow envy? You can see I don't have any eyebrows, it's all pencil. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Oh, she now got cracks there, it's because I've, I'm not used to doing it in this light. This is from Maybelline, it's brown, brow satin, this is, and it's, uh, you've got a, it's really clever actually, you've got a, like um, a padded brush that side with the actual stuff inside the lids, it's pretty cool. And then you have a pencil to do like defining. So I'm actually running out of this one. This is called Dark Blonde, this is. So, although that doesn't look dark blonde, does it? So my eyebrows, right, they change, they do. So I've got, I'm gonna do basic today, okay? So there we are, because as you can see, actually no sod it, I'll do the whole lot. As you can see, I've actually got hair there. So my eyebrow goes up to a point, like that. So because the brush only does so much, I'm gonna, I use the definer then, and I just basically draw it in. Do you know, I've had a song, I had Stereophonics in my head yesterday, uh, what was the song? Local Boy in the Photograph was it? No, Thousand Trees was in my head yesterday, and obviously Stereophonics are a local band, and uh, and now today I've got Little Mix in my head, and it's like, will you make up your mind, which one are you going to sing? And I haven't heard either of these for ages, and I just woke up um, singing Little Mix in my head, it's weird. So with my eyebrows, I have had them coloured recently, but they're all gone now. Um, so I'm just having to do it myself. Again, I do I do everything with my fingers. My fingers are great. As long as they're clean, your fingers are great. You need to trust them. So <laughs> look at the difference in that. <laughs> uh, look at that. Um, right, so I'll put that one away. And go to the other side. No mistake, I smell that smell It's that time of year again I can taste the air Clocks go back, a railway track Something's blocked the line again 
And the train runs in for the first time All the friends lay down the field Sit on the banks and drink the rest So it takes forever to do my eyebrows because obviously, because I've, I've been plucking my eyebrows since I was a kid, so I don't have eyebrows, right? I have hairs, but I don't have eyebrows. So is that the moment I have these eyebrows and I look awfully, awfully pale? So um, I'm going to show you my eyeshadow next. Now the eyeshadow is the awkward bit and for this I use, I can never, I can never say it right, but I use, Mor is it Morph? Morphe? Uh, my friend Amy uh, got me into this because of the pigmentation is so nice. So this palette is quite a nice range if you know what I mean. Now I use these, as you can see these ones are probably, but you can just about see there, these ones have been used the most. I haven't really used these ones. I like the metallic-y ones. Um, and then obviously I've got the lighter colors over here. So the two I'm gonna use today is this one down here and this one up here. These are the two that I use the most. And again, my finger, I was just gonna to talk to the mirror then, and again, my finger is the is what I use. Now, how I get the line, the flick, if you remember the, because I've got that line, I've been doing it for years. A lot of people uh, use like, uh, it's like a, a, a makeup tape, it's like a masking tape, but I just use, I just use tissue. I place it where I want it, like that. I hold it in place. I get my dark color and I just brush it on. And there you have the first part. So as you can see, I have a beautiful flick there. But that's not obviously where you leave it. You obviously have to do more. So, and then the next side, make sure that you line up correctly. It is hard doing this, mind. So, this is cheating, this is, but it's tough. And then just do the same the other side. Now the problem I have is my hormones are all over the place so a lot of the time I have one eye that's darker than the other um, because no matter how much makeup I put on it, it still does it. I have no idea why. My sister's got a black eye um, because of her hormones so we're kind of a weird bunch really. So now I've done the basic eyeshadow, I will do the white. See what I mean when I said about your fingers are really good? to wait <laughs> two hours for my battery to charge because my new battery didn't charge at all 
Um, so I've literally had to wait two hours for this battery to charge now so I can continue. So I've been walking around with half my face done. Right, so as you can see, my eyeshadow I think is almost done. I have blended in here a little bit better because it looked a little bit too much. But this bit needs a bit of correcting. Now I've had two hours to to faff i've edited the first uh the first part of the video so i'm just gonna put a little bit more powder up there because it just looked a little bit i don't know like there was something missing now i can see it you know so i've got like a weird pattern on my eyebrow there there we are i think that'll do right so i'll leave that open for a bit because i will need to go back to it so the next thing i'm gonna do is my the oh, i've got powder all over my face um, I'm going to do the eyeshadow underneath there to show you what I do. Now I get the uh, eyebrow pencil I used. And I go underneath there. I don't know why, right, but I've always done it. So you can go darker. I do sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, especially when I was in the nocturne alley section of my room which is changing again it will no longer be nocturne alley but it's going to be a while before it's finished and then i get my eyeliner which <laughs> is so small it's like almost dead i because i eyeliners my eyes are really sensitive so not many eyeliners work with me so this one's the only one so i'm literally using it sparingly and because the labels come off, I cannot remember me for the life of, I can't remember for the life of me where it's come from. So there we are. And then the last thing then for my eyes is my mascara. So I use Max Factor Volume, Voluminous False Lash Effect. I use the green one. Now I've got really long eyelashes, but they're quite curled over, so it's hard to see them. So my eyelashes are so long, right, that when I put uh, sunglasses on, my eyes, my eyelashes catches on my sunglasses. So there we are, my eyelashes are all done. <clears throat> my eye makeup is done. So now I'm going to show you my hair. I don't do my lipstick until after I've done my hair. So... <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Next is my hair. So I wanted to show you how I curl my hair because it's so easy. So I use a pair of GHD straighteners. So once the heat, right, once the heat's ready, I'm not gonna do like a massively good job because I'm only showing you the basics, but it is easier to curl with straighteners than it is curling tongs in my eyes because you can touch these. You can't touch curling, to uh, curling tongs. So yes, yeah, only little basic, you know, that's all it is. Oh, I have my hair done on Friday. I can't wait because I'm going to be going. My hair's very white um, because obviously the bleach, I, I haven't had any tones put into it. So I am, I'm going to have some tones put into it to give it a bit more kind of colour, um, which is really, really pretty. So I've got the colour I want. I just need to get it done. So that is literally the first layer done. So, so simple. So I'm literally going up a few layers at a time. And I haven't washed my hair today. Um, I don't like washing my hair every day because it makes it greasy quicker. And so all I've done is I've, uh, I washed it because I had a shower yesterday, washed it yesterday. And all I'm doing, because I'm a qualified hairdresser for those who don't know, I qualified in 2005. So, and I, I did the course to learn how to look after my own hair sounds really silly i didn't like the industry because it's quite a horrible industry you know it's very um backstabby i mean certain places and a lot of hairdressers have agreed with me on that that if you're not in the right environment it's, it's not nice at all so the good thing about straightening though is when you use hair straighteners or curling tongs or whatever if you've got different colors in your hair like i have i've got a few browns in my hair um, it actually makes them stand out more. It's really, really cool. It kind of emphasises it. 
I think it's because when you straighten your hair, um, your hair's got like, it looks like roof tiles, like little cuticles all the way down it. Um, so the straighteners are flattening them, so it's making the, hair, the colour more vibrant. So, see, I do know my stuff. I know my stuff sometimes, just sometimes. I've ordered something for this room. It's a really big item. And I was really hoping, because it said 48 hours delivery and it's been a week. So I'm a bit concerned. I tried to contact the seller. I know they're a genuine company because my friends got one of these items from the same place. But they said they posted it last week. It says 48 item, 48 hours with this postal company and um, that it's shipped via that. And I've had nothing, I've, I've received nothing. I've received no tracking, no nothing. So I'm getting a little bit concerned because it was an incredibly expensive item. And I was also that close, right, to buying the Lego Di Diagon Alley last night. I really want it because it's so amazing. Um, but I didn't buy it because I've got nowhere to put it. It looks so big. Adam was like, you can't. Even Harry was like, mum, you, you can't get it. Where would you put it? So I'm going to use, instead of buying the Diagon Alley, I'm going to use the money to put back into what I'm doing in this room. So I'm going to London, as I said, in two weeks. And uh, when I go to London, then I've got to pick up some stuff for this room. But it won't be done till next year, this what I'm doing. It can't be done till next year. I've got people coming into the house to do it for me because I can't do it. Um, so yeah, it's a pain. But there we go. Janice offered her services and then saw what I wanted doing and she was like, um, no, it's fine. Let's, let's, let's leave it, shall we? So it was quite funny. It didn't last long. I hope this video isn't late going out today because I'm Obviously this has taken me a while to do because I'm trying to show you guys how I do my, my look. The county next to us has gone into lockdown. So we're literally in the middle of a lockdown now. Um, we've, we've literally, we're locked down there, there and there. But our county is attached to these three that have locked down. Um, and we're not locked down because our numbers of coronavirus have actually gone down rather than up in these other counties but like Swansea now Swansea's gonna have all the students arriving for freshers week this week and uh, you know even though university is online now for some reason they're still going to their dormitories which I don't quite understand because they're teaching online so because I start today my course starts today but uh, well not so much today it's meant to start today but because i'm in my third year i think they're a bit slower giving us all our details this year because they're going to concentrate on year ones first which is fair enough um and it gives me time to do this but uh yeah it's a bit of an odd one i can't quite understand why students are still coming in when university is technically closed the libraries aren't though as far as i know places like the library and maybe the computer rooms and stuff i think they're still open but the actual courses, they're all finished. They're, they're, you know, they're all online. You're not doing anyone to any face-to-face uh, -face contact at all this year. I'm not. Anyway, all my classes are all online. Although I don't attend classes. I don't do well on online learning. Um, I, I, I attend my one-to-one -one with my specialist help because obviously of my autism. Um, but I, I don't... Uh, I don't go to class. I can't deal with it. All those people talking at once. I can't, I can't deal with it. I just can't. So, uh, yeah. Never mind. You know, I'm still getting my course done. I still got distinctions from last year, uh, for last year. I'm hoping to get distinctions this year, which means I'll end with a first. And our school of film is actually now number one in the country. So that's really cool. So when you're straightening your hair, um, oh, I've missed a bit there. When you're straightening your hair, don't put your fingers through the curls. 
you can't put your fingers through the curls until you have uh, wait to finish let your hair cool down because what happens is going into a bit of a technical term now is when you're curling your hair you're breaking the temporary bonds in your hair which tell your hair whether they're straight or curly if you put your fingers through your hair when the hair is hot or warm those temporary bonds are still taking so you will end up pulling the curl out so don't touch them until they are completely cold once your hair's cold then put your fingers through your hair or do whatever you want to do but i just wouldn't touch your hair until your hair is uh is done see i'm missing loads because i haven't got my mirror in front of me my whole mirror i'm having to i'm having to use a small one I've just had a massive salad. It's way day tomorrow in Slimming World, so I'm waiting to find out what I've lost this week. I don't think I've lost much. If I've lost two pounds, I will be thrilled because it means I've lost half a stone already. So that is my hair curly. Again, don't touch it until your hair has cooled down. So once your hair's cooled down, obviously you can put your fingers through it then, but I'm gonna leave it for now until it's properly cooled. Now, the lipstick I'm gonna to wear today, I only use Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, but it's the official Kylie Cosmetics. There's a lot of fakes out there. And what I do is I go to, to make sure it is the right website, I go to Kylie Cosmetics with the blue tick um, on Instagram and I click on the link. And this one is the, the red one I normally wear. And this one is Mary Jo K. I love them lip kits. They are so good. So with Kylie Jenner lipstick, I've got about seven or eight shades. I love it. It's cheaper to get it, in, get it brought in from America rather than buy it in a shop in the UK. Apparently Sky, Kylie's skin is coming to the UK, but I've heard nothing about Kylie Cosmetics. So you only put one layer on, but you have to colour your entire lip in. Once you've put the uh, lip liner on, you then put the liquid on. And all I have done is run my fingers through my hair. God, look how white it looks. And I am ready to face the day. <laughs> It's amazing what makeup does, isn't it? It's so good. But yes, this is me. This is my makeup. And now you know how I get it looking the way I do. So so if you have enjoyed this makeup and hair tutorial and skincare routine and everything else, then let me know what was your favourite part of this. And also, do you use any of these products? Make sure that you check out the competition. The link is on the link. All the details are down below. It is to win a Harry Potter Builder Bear of your choice. The competition is open till the 31st of October, so make sure you win. Anyone who has already subscribed to my channel is already entered. So, until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very soon. Bye bye. Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.